Now let us see the next one, estimating to the nearest tens by rounding off. Now if you take the number line, on the number line we take, so number starting, if you take from 0, so 0, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and so on. Now, if you observe eighteen, now if you consider the number eighteen, so it lies between 10 and 20 but it is nearer to 20 than to 10 so then we can approximate 18 as 20 by rounding it off and if you consider 7 so it lies between 0 and 10 so the 7 is closer to 10 than to 0 then we can approximate it as 10 by rounding it off and if you take the number 12 and the number 12 lies between 10 and 20 so we can approximate 12 to 10 than to 20 because it is closer to 10 than to 20 so the numbers starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So these are closer to 0 than to 10. And the numbers 6, 7, 8, 9 are closer to 10 than to 0. So the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 are even 0. So the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 are closer to 0 than to 10. So then these numbers are rounded off 0. And the numbers 6, 7, 8, 9 are closer to 10 than to 0. So then these numbers are rounded off to 10. But the number 5, so this is equidistant from 0 as well as 10. So then we round, we round as the 10. It's a common practice to round off 5 as the 10. So for example here 15 can be rounded it off rounded off to 20 or 25 can be rounded off to 30. Now the next one is estimating to the nearest hundreds by rounding off. Now if you take the number 416 so it is closer to 400 than 500 so is closer to 400 than 500 so it can be rounded off to 400 now if you take another example 891 is closer to 900 than to 800 so then it can be rounded off to 900. So when you correct the number to the nearest hundreds, it can be rounded off to 900. Now the numbers starting from 1 to 49 are closer to 0. So then they can be rounded off to 0. And the numbers starting from 51 to 99 are closer to 100 so they can be rounded off to 100 when you correct to the 
nearest hundreds and the number 50 is exactly equidistant from 0 and 100 so the, it is equidistant from 0 and 100 so then it is a common practice to round off 50 near to 100 now for example if you collect the numbers to the nearest hundreds so then 341 can be rounded off to 300 and 768 can be rounded off to 800 because here 768 so then 68 belongs to the second case so it goes to the next 100 means that is 800 now if the if you take any other number 236 so it can be rounded off to 200 because 36 belongs to the first case in these two cases first case 1249 so it goes to the 200 case and the number 975 so it can be rounded off to 1000 now the next one is estimating to the nearest thousands by rounding off now if you take the numbers from 1 to 499 so they are closer to 0 than to 1000 and if you take the number 501 to 999 are closer to 1000 than to 0 so then the number starting from 1 to 499 are rounded off to 0 and the numbers from 501 to 999 are rounded off to 1000 when you correct to the nearest to thousands but the number 500 is equidistant from 0 as well as from 1000 but it is a common practice to round off 500 to the nearest thousand now if you take the numbers 2375 if the number is corrected to nearest thousands so then here 375 goes to the first case so it is rounded off to the nearest zero means 2000 and if you take any other number 4862 so then here 862 goes to the second case so then it will be rounded off to the next 1000 so then 5000 and if the take another number 7524 so it can be rounded off to here 524 goes to the second case so then it will be rounded off to the next 1000 so 7000 plus 1000 8000 so these are the these are the numbers which are rounded to the nearest thousands now let us see the next topic estimating outcomes of number situations now if you want to add two or three numbers like 2374 plus 5679 so then we write the two numbers one below the other so that the place values should be one below the other now such as ones places tens places hundreds places and thousands places then we take 2374 and plus 5679 so then we will add first ones places so 9 plus 4 13 1 will be carried to tens place so 1 plus 7 8 plus 7 15 and 1 will be carried to hundreds place so 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 6 10 1 1 plus 2 3 plus 5 8 now if we want to estimate the sum of two or more numbers now for example if you go to the market and you will see the list of the prices of the different vegetable 
So if you want to buy two or three type of vegetables, then we quickly estimate the prices of all the different vegetables, then we will check whether we have sufficient money or not. And there are some situations in our day to day life where we have to estimate the outcome of the numbers. Now, for example, a trader has to receive the money amount of 13,569 rupees from one source and 26,278 rupees from the second source. And by the evening, he has to give the money to some other. So that amount is 37,000 rupees. Then he quickly estimated the amount that he has to get from two different sources and he has to give the amount to some other person and he feels that he will have the sufficient money then he feels that he is happy. Now whether the, his estimation is correct or not. Now we can even add the two numbers and check the amount from the two persons from the two sources that he gets is more than the amount that he has to give to some other person or not then his estimation is correct now for example now for example you can take any other situation where we use the estimates in our day to day life and there are no rigid rules to estimate the outcome of the given numbers but it depends on the how quickly we are estimating and how the correct answer we are getting. So that is the important thing while estimating the outcome of the given numbers. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.